I have been discussing the impact of recency bias during and after COVID-19 and decided to draw some of my thinking on this topic. First, what is recency bias? Recency bias occurs when you most easily remember something that has happened recently compared to remembering something that took place a while back. The more recent experiences and related emotions dictate your decisions and actions in the present. For example, you've been swimming or surfing at your favorite beach for over a decade. Recently, however, the news has included reports of shark attacks, and because of these reports, you decide to no longer swim or surf at this beach. This is an example of recency bias taking over your decision-making process in the present. So during this COVID-19 pandemic situation, I've illustrated four areas of many that I feel might be affected by recency bias. The first one is commuting. Before the pandemic hit, many of you were spending hours in traffic or public transit going to and from work. But once we were directed to shelter in place, working from home became the norm and commuting all but stopped for many. I feel that recency bias is going to affect how people consider or approach their commute. For example, you may no longer want to sit parked in your car on the highway, not going anywhere in rush hour. You may love the extra time in your life now that your commute means walking downstairs from the bedroom to the kitchen table. My second sketch relates to working from home. Maybe you had some work from home time before, and maybe you had none. But now you've been working from your dining table or sofa 100% of the time for weeks. You've been comfortable in your PJs, had tea or coffee whenever you've wanted, saved money on lunches, and had more time with your kids. As an introvert, you don't miss the noisy open office environment. Maybe there are certain co-workers you've been more than happy not to see every day. I believe that recency bias will mean some of us might not want to go back into the office ever. And beyond the personal level, maybe some leaders realize how wasteful it is to put resources into expansive offices that have now been sitting empty. Maybe some companies have had an increase in productivity that daily commuting and constant office interruptions don't allow. Or maybe some micromanagers are just dying to hover over their employees again and will take away work from home privileges for a while after. My third drawing relates to online learning. Before COVID-19, you may have had a mixture of in-class learning and online learning experiences. But since being asked to stay home, online learning has been the norm. Maybe you've been more efficient with your learning. Maybe you've enjoyed the convenience. Recency bias may affect how you decide to learn going forward, and you may want to stick with online. Or you might be tired of mediocre online learning and want everything to be face-to-face -face again for the interaction and hands-on experience. It remains to be seen. The final drawing I did relates to investing. Hopefully, before the COVID-19 pandemic, your investments were doing well and increasing in value. But since the pandemic, the stock market has taken a beating, and your investments may have as well. So if you take recency bias into this situation, you might not want to make what appears to be risky investments going forward. You definitely don't want to lose money, and recent experience has taught you that possibility is always there. So these four things demonstrate how recency bias can affect our decision-making in behavior during and after this pandemic. These four areas demonstrate how recency bias can affect our decision-making and behavior. Which emotions and experiences are you going through during this COVID-19 pandemic? How will you view your long, tiring commute now that you've been working from home? How pleasant or frustrating has it been to be home every day? And will you want to get back in the office or avoid it? How much time or money have you been saving by learning online? How will this affect your approach to further learning and professional development? And how have your investments fared during this course of this pandemic? How will you invest going forward? Or will you? How might recency bias affect your situation? How will it affect your decisions regarding your business, your job, and your life? Take a minute to consider how this cognitive bias might be coloring your thoughts and actions. Pause and reflect on what your current and future realities entail. If you found this interesting or it sparked some new thinking for you, please reach out and let me know. And thanks for watching.